everyone, what's going on? It's your boy, Worst Epic Gamer, and we're back with another Soul Hunters Awakening video, guys. Today, it's a special day today because I have been sent from the future to show you guys the transformation of our homeboy, Mechina, here. And that's right, if you're still confused and you don't really know what's going on, Mechina is a male character, guys, and this is kind of uh, important to a bunch of players that are new. So, if you started in the last month or so, and... Um, you know what I'm saying? You need to do the bloody arena because uh, in the dojo's bloody arena gets a little bit difficult in the beginning. And you happen to get Mechina as a, one of your earlier characters. Well, I'm just letting you guys know that he's a male character. So just keep that in mind. But for now, let's not beat around the bush, guys. Let's get right into it. We all know what we're here for. Drop a like if you want to see this transformation of Mechina because I am crazy excited. I can't wait to see this. And I want to see if he's viable in the arena. Top, top top of the arena because that's what his abilities mostly seem like for the arena all right so without any further ado let's go to part number two all right so for the second part guys we have to complete title temple six times let's just jump right into it and sweep it up i've already done it as you guys already saw if you watched me on the streams you already know that we did this already over the weekend so perfectly done now let's head back accept this quest complete it let's go to part number three and uh read what we gotta do so, we have to do this without anybody being killed. This should be easy as hell. And uh, let's just go ahead with... Uh, you know what? Let's go with Elador, uh, Mira, Batman. I call this my OP team. <laughs> just uh, the campaign destroyers. Prepare yourselves. Okay. These are the campaign destroyers. This, These rounds are ridiculously easy here, but... It's kind of just a matter of time. It's just something to do before you transform your hero and make him a lot better. Target their weaknesses. They have no weaknesses. We're just way too strong. And boom. Look at this. Done deal. Alright. Let's just go ahead. Auto fight. The rest of this wave. Do not lose focus. These sayings are not inspiring at all. By him saying that, it automatically takes my brain away from what I'm doing and makes me lose focus. One must be humble in victory. Yes, that's actually a good saying right there. Be humble in victory as well as defeat, guys. So, wait, how can you be humble in defeat? I don't know, but you should be. Be humble. You know that song? Be humble. Ugh. Anyways, let's go ahead, guys. Right into this. Part number three is completed. Now we're just going to watch this transformation. All right, let's go. Come on, something cool. Ha, whoa, okay, that's pretty freaking cool. Yo, that's really cool. What? Uh, first of all, I didn't know that this guy jumps on a cloud and floating in midair. Whoa, that's pretty dope. His whole look has changed, actually. Still got them six arms, which is sick. I love that about him. And he still got his cool design. But look at this floating. Really cool. Oh, wow. All right. That's a sick card right there. I love that card. Wow. That card is sick right there. So, yep. There's nothing I don't like about this card. That looks awesome. Woo. All right, guys. Let's go ahead. Check it out. The change is pretty cool. He's, a, he's pretty much all white now. White and I guess you could say gray, but I love the look. It's awesome. All right. Ooh, I love his avatar. Wow, this dude just looks so much sicker, dude. Holy moly. I love this new look. Yo. Okay, we have unlocked ruins. Now, let's break it down, guys. New awakening. Blessing of the purity. When any control effect is removed from either an ally or an enemy uh, due to an ability, Mechina gains health. When any buff or debuff is removed from an ally or enemy, Mechina gains energy. Alright, so if we can remove buffs or debuffs, hmm, wow, he will gain energy. If he can remove control abilities, then he gains health. That's pretty sweet, because if you don't already know, guys, his ultimate is long as hell, but this one will break control abilities, right? So negate abilities affecting, remove any abilities affecting them making them temporarily immune to control abilities so yeah so he removes all abilities with his away uh, with his ultimate which is thus going to give him some health so i'm already loving that right there let's go ahead let's boost this up 
all the way up, guys. All the way up. Uh, 10, 20 gem, whatever. 20 diamonds for that. Uh, yes, please. Let's do it again. I want to finish it off so I can show you guys to the max. To the max. Restore 500 health and 20 energy. Okay, what? That's not that much. Hmm, doesn't seem like that much, but will actually be a lot. Hmm, I don't know. We'll have to test it out, but let's go ahead, guys. Let's get him to some other things. Actually, let me see if I can give him a ruin. Physical attack. Nope, that's not good for him. I don't have any other ruins available, so let's move on to the next part. All right, it's time to forge a McDorgy. 10 times? 5 times? 50? 50 times? Start. Start, forge. Start, you bastard. All right, forge him. Now, right now, he is not released in the Heroic Academy yet, guys. So, that's he's not in there. So, you cannot promote him in the Heroic Academy just yet. So, the only thing that you can do right now to buff him up is in the Forge. Other than that, uh, not much else you can do. Once you enchant him, get him to Orange Plus 2, enchant him. He's pretty much maxed out. Nothing else you can do. So, after this, we are going to test him out in some battles. And I will show you guys exactly what he's going to do and how, you know, he's able to affect a bunch of different allies but let's go ahead let's break right into it all right guys so here we go into an arena battle now but i've slowed this down for you guys at 50 percent so we can kind of break this down a little bit more and you guys can see what's going on now so uh right away i'm gonna pause keep pausing the, the battle and point out some things to you guys so make it a lot clearer now so let's begin now let's pause it right here let's take a look look at all of these buffs you can already see guys physical attack physical attack these are all buffs that everybody's getting from different abilities now what you're gonna see is from all these buffs, Mechanus energy is going to get plus 20. As you can see, boom, boom, boom. All that plus 20 comes from all of those buffs because each buff or debuff, he will get a energy boost, which is incredible. Now, he's into his first ability, as you can see, which is the fate of gears, the two gears. Uh, one is on Nelia here, and the other one, I'm pretty sure, is on Batman. Um, Batman is gaining health. Nelia is taking damage over time. If they happen to collide, they will explode. Dealing a lot of damage to Nilia here and everybody around her, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead, let's continue the battle here so that we can see what's going to happen. Now, look at the energy, it's keep building up. Boom, already now we're into the second phase. Physical armor down. Physical armor down is a debuff, automatically affects Mechana. All buffs, debuffs affect them. And as you can see, more energy is going to be coming up. A lot more energy now. As you can see, he is already into. Attack number two, which is the Mega Force Field. Uh, this Mega Force Field is sick. Everybody around them is going to be taking reduced AoE damage, all right? So uh, look at Sylphie there, reduced AoE damage. Uh, he's got a bunch of AoE damage attackers, so right there. As you can see, look at the energy. Just keep going up and up and up. Physical armor and buff. Magic immunity. So let's pause it there. As you can see, uh, Gorum is in his uh, awakened ability where he starts taking in I think he's immune to magic attacks, if I can remember correctly. So he's immune to magic attacks. Look at the health buff that Machina is getting just because of that buff. So he's using Gorum's ability against them, regaining health and also regaining energy from all the other debuffs. So that's kind of what I want to show you guys. If he breaks the control ability or casts the control ability, he's going to get health. If he buffs or debuffs anybody on either at, at any point of the battle, he's going to get energy. That's why you see so many energies because throughout the battle, there's buffs and debuffs happening all the time. So that's what you know. That's where all the energy is coming from. Now he's already almost into his ultimate here, which is uh, pretty good, depending considering he's not really doing any really dealing too much damage. But his abilities are incredible here, and uh, that's kind of how you break them down. And as you can see, we boom, we got the win right there. Pretty awesome. So I wanted to slow it down for you guys and wanted to really show you how it works. And it's incredible, guys. It's amazing. Uh, let's go ahead, keep going on here. Uh, break it down the stats. Beast. Now, don't forget Adeline, Haruk. I put the, the legendary pets on them, so they're a lot stronger now. But let's go on into another battle here. This one is slowed down as well. Now, as always, he's going to start off with his two gears. He's going to trap two heroes so he got as you can see octo and batman trapped in there his energy keeps going up because of all now let's look at this now physical armor look at all these different heroes that are getting uh you know debuffs it doesn't matter he's going to be affected because he's going to be getting a lot of energy from that and as we can already see his energy is already full he's about to ultimate right now and it doesn't stop it just keeps going up now while he's in his ultimate don't forget he drains it drains health and it drains his energy, all right? 
but he's constantly regaining it, which is great. It's a great it's a great combo now his ultimate is so op it's going to get your highest dps hero so let me see if i can figure out who that is right now it to me right now it seems like it's mirror but i'm not sure i'm trying to see who he's latched onto here so i can break it down more it's kind of hard to see though it could be adeline the gear i'm trying to see where the gear is at over there it could be adeline because Whoever he gets on, the ultimate is incredible. It gives them a reduced, 50% reduced damage. It gives them a magic or attack bonus. All control abilities will increase their speed. Of uh, just so many different abilities that you can see. You know, once you looked at his ultimate in my spotlight video, but it just does so many things. And with this awakening now, he's able to constantly regain his health, constantly regain his energy, thus keeping this ultimate alive a lot longer. So, in my opinion, it's incredible, guys. I mean, it just does the job. And pairing him up with Adeline is a great synergy right there. I mean, it's terrific synergy. Also, uh, Haruk does really, really great. Uh, if you use Mechina with four other heroes that don't do any crowd control or buffs or debuffs you're wasting your time he's got to be he with heroes that will buff debuff and apply or take away control abilities all right so that's one thing now for this battle i'm changing things up just a little bit guys i took away adeline and Rook because they're legendary pets so for one and two they apply a lot of control abilities adeline i mean uh is immune to control Rook is a uh, it's just a beast so i took them out and i put in Rayman and uh, Elador for this battle, even though Rayman is also immune to some control abilities anyways, but like I said, you need that to support Mechanel a little bit more, right? So let's keep going on here and let's see what's going to happen in this battle here. Uh, now he automatically goes into his two gears and the gears have already exploded because they're too close. As you already saw there in the beginning, they exploded so you can deal a lot of damage. Look at all these physical armor, you know what I mean? debuffs from everybody in the battlefield this is great because like i said before energy 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 on mechano which is great now mega force field is in play reducing everybody inside the force field is taking less aoe damage which is not that great in this battle because everybody's pretty much out of the force field except mira she's not even being attacked right now so it's fine uh let's just see what else is gonna if you just keep paying attention to to Machina, you just will notice that the energy is consistently happening. It's incredible. The problem is, although she's getting a lot of energy from the buffs and debuffs, the health is not as high as it was before because health is only from crowd control, removing or applying crowd control. And um, without Adeline, it's not as much. Like I said, Adeline is big on crowd control. She's She breaks all chains, guys. So... Perfect synergy, like I said before, with Adeline and Mechana. It's a great synergy. So having Adeline in the team really, really helps out. So that's why her health, I mean, his health was a lot better in the previous battles. And it's not as much in this battle. Even though energy is not a problem, he's consistently consistently gaining energy. And it's he's always applying his ultimate, which is great. The health is a, an issue without having the right team around him. So I feel like synergy is important with this guy. But he's an incredible arena hero. From all uh, testing that I've done, it's great. All wins in the arena. And he's only at three stars. So, pretty impressive, guys. Very, very impressive. Now, let's take a look at the, the details and see who did what to who. Alright guys, so I hope that helped you out a little bit to kind of get an idea of what Mechina is all about. As you can see, Mechina is a complete beast in the arena, guys. If you cannot get to him, you know, in time, you're probably going to need Volko backline killers really quickly because uh, this dude is a beast. He's going to be able to protect your team from control ability abilities like crazy, so he is negating a lot of control abilities. Blessing of Purity is completely insane. Restores 20 energy consistently all the time and 500 energy consistently that many times every time there's a buff or a debuff. And you already know buffs and debuffs happen in the game consistently as you saw in the battle. So this 
is constant. This is going to keep, you know, happening in the game. Uh, Mega Force Field is going to reduce damage by AoE attacks by 50%. That's incredible. Uh, another ability that he's got is the Wheels of Fate, where he traps two, uh, you know, two gears on your your hero and your opponent's uh, hero, and your your ally is going to gain HP. Your opponent is going to lose some health over time, and then when they get together, it's going to explode, dealing, uh, you know, a lot more damage. And then also, don't forget, another key part of the, about this, guys, the explosion, the explosion will remove negative effects from units in the area. So, boom, removing more buffs, thus giving them more energy. So, and then his ultimate, you already know, once he goes into his ultimate, this one is completely cancels out all control abilities. So, that's why you guys saw all the crazy abilities there. So, incredible. Uh... I love everything about him. He's only three stars now, and um, in the top of the arena, it's gonna be tough to keep him alive long enough. By the seven stars in the main arena, this guy is looking like he's a must-have hero in the future. You know, I'm not sure when they're gonna be able to release him for a while now, but it's gonna be sick in the arena for a good amount of time. So I can already suspect he's gonna be really good in the arena. But you also gotta know who to pair him up with. All right, as you saw there before, I paired him up with some control heroes, Haruk. Uh, Adelin, they help out a lot if you don't already know. So, you gotta know who you're pairing him up with. Mm, he's all about negating control ability, so countering control units and also buffing your control team. So, if you have a team that will do a lot of crowd control, I already see this guy being great with Prince of Persia right, already because Prince of Persia is a beast when it comes to crowd control, one of the best crowd controls in the game. So keep that in mind. Maybe you want to use him with him. So a lot of different possibilities, guys. But personally, I love Mechano. I think he's going to be a great arena hero. I just don't see him being that great everywhere else because of his abilities to support is mostly for the arena, reducing health and all that stuff. He's not really buffing your attacks. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So just an arena hero, but all in all, I give him two thumbs up for the arena, guys. A great arena hero. So with that said, this ends this awakening, guys. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, show your support if you did. Drop a like. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe because uh, you don't want to miss all the future content, all right? And also, don't forget, turn on notifications. This way, you you don't miss my live streams. You don't miss, you know, when uh, when a new uh, video goes live. Whatever, whatever the case may be, all right, guys? That's about it. Your boy Worst Heavy Gamer, out.